lucky you didn't drink it. The meal is spoiled. Did you know why we shouldn't drink spoiled milk, kids? Let knowledge click. Milk is full of good stuff like calcium, phosphorus, and vitamins. But sometimes, harmful germs like... These bacteria eat lactose, the natural sugar in milk, and make acid as waste. This waste makes the milk go bad, get chunky, and smell really yucky. Oh! Oh no! What if I drank spoiled milk? If you drink spoiled milk, don't worry too much. Most of the time, your stomach acid can destroy the bad germs. If you're healthy, you might just need to go to the bathroom. But if your body is weak, some germs might survive, reach your intestines, and cause nausea, belly pain, or bad diarrhea. How do I know if the milk is still okay to drink? Look at the date on the box, Wufu. If it expired, better not drink it, even if no one opened oh. it yet. <laughs> hmm. If it's open milk and it tastes sour or strange, spit it out right away and yeah. rinse your mouth. Don't swallow it. Oh, I get it now. Friends, from now on, remember to check the date on the milk so we hmm. don't drink spoiled milk. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Slow down, Lucy. Don't stub your mouth. Oh. You're joking! <laughs> What's happening to me? Your tummy's mad because you didn't chew your food properly. Oh. I'll tell you. Let knowledge clear. Inside your tummy is a special team called the digestive system. When you chew your food well, your skin yeah. helps make it soft so it can slide down your throat. Then it goes through a long tube and into your stomach. Your stomach squeezes and adds special juices to break the food down. Next, it moves to the small intestine where the food turns into nutrients. The nutrients travel all around your body to help you grow strong. And if you don't chew well, trouble's coming. If a bite of food is too big and go down without enough chewing, it can get stuck in your throat. Not only that, the big piece is hard to digest. Your stomach gets tired and doesn't make enough juice. So you feel full, sore, or hear funny tummy sounds. As a result, your intestines can get all the nutrients. That means even if you eat a lot, your body still doesn't get strong. you better and stop rushing my food from now on. That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episode. <laughs> it wouldn't grow into a tree, Wufu. You wanna know why? 
Let knowledge click. A watermelon seed needs soil, water, and sunlight in order to sprout and grow into a plant. On the other hand, the stomach lacks the conditions needed for a seed to sprout. If the watermelon seed doesn't mm. grow, what will happen to it? <laughs> the substances in your stomach will help push it out within about three days, along with other food. seeds as I want, right? Hmm. One or two seeds won't hurt, but swallowing too many could make you choke or even have stomach ache. When you eat watermelon, make sure to spit out the seeds to stay safe, okay? Yes! Huh? That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episode. Ah. Ho, 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 ho. Wow. Come here, puppy. Oh. Puppy. <laughs> oh. Don't let your dog eat chocolate. Mm. Do you know why we shouldn't let your dog eat chocolate? Let knowledge click! The chocolate we eat is made from cacao beans. Cacao beans contain some dangerous stuff for dogs and cats, like caffeine and theobromine. When people eat chocolate, they might feel more energetic. The dogs present these chemicals much more slowly, which makes them easily to get poisoned. Besides chocolate, there are other foods dogs shouldn't eat, like avocado, onions, garlic, and coffee. Dogs are often curious about strange new foods, so we need to keep a close eye on them. Oh. Mm. <laughs> so what if a dog accidentally eats something it shouldn't? If your dog eats something bad, tell an adult and call the vet right away. <laughs> That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episodes. Hmm. <sighs> Looks like you have some cavities. What's a cavity? Hmm. I think many friends have the same question as you. I'll tell you what it is. Let knowledge click. There are lots of germs in our mouth, but don't worry, not all of them are bad. Some germs really love sweet things, like candy, cake, and sugary milk. When they eat sugar, they make acid. That acid wears down the enamel, the tooth shield. If we don't clean it, the tiny hole gets bigger and turns into a cavity. At first, cavities don't hurt, so you don't even know they're there. But over time, the hole gets deeper and reaches the nerve. That's when your tooth starts to hurt and feel super sensitive. It can even swell up and get infected. 
And then you will need to see the dentist. Is there any way to avoid it? Yes. Remember these things. Crush and rinse your mouth every day. Use floss after meals to clean food stuck between your teeth. Try not to eat or drink too many sugary things. That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episode. Oh.